Um, if you're just um, tuning into this channel on YouTube and you don't really uh, know what's going on yet, you're just like, oh my God, who are these fags and dykes talking to me? Um, <laughs> little um, fill in. My name is Lauren McKenzie. I'm part of this um, daily dose of LGBT collaboration channel where we talk to you and try to make you laugh and talk to you about all this gay shit. Like literally, like literally like gay shit. Anyway, I just celebrated my birthday last Thursday. I turned 20 and if you haven't noticed yet, I have a new tattoo. Oh, oh hi. Um, it says truth, beauty, freedom, and love from Mulan Rouge. Anyway, uh, this week's topic is PDA. Public displays of affection. So PDA, uh, what constitutes as PDA? Kissing, hand-holding, lap-sitting, er, cuddling, anything involving the genital region. My opinions on PDA are really, really clear-cut. Just, I mean, I'm all for PDA, especially gay PDA. I think we need more um, gay public displays of affection than anything else. But as long as it's tasteful, because, you know, and like you're sitting at the bus stop and you can hear the couple next to you like making out louder than your freaking music. Like, that's not like that's so obnoxious. It's just don't don't just don't be that couple, please, because I will look at you very differently. Now, I understand that a lot of you guys who are watching this are probably aren't from big cities and don't live in big cities and probably won't for a while um like okay so for example i live in north hollywood california it's super super liberal like gay people are just running around everywhere here um so <laughs> if i had a girlfriend and i was walking down the street holding her hand no one would probably say anything like no one would be like oh my god doug um but i can understand how that would happen at a high school in iowa because you know, it's Iowa. Not hating on Iowa, but I mean. So with that, with that said, I don't even know what I'm saying with that said. What did I just say? With that said, it's entirely up to you whether you want to show affection to your partner in public. It's completely up to you. Like whether you're 15 or 40, whether you live in Los Angeles or Iowa, uh, it's completely up to you. It's whatever you feel comfortable with. There's no age where it's like, oh, you, you have to show affection in public now. Like, it's, that's not how it works. It's completely, entirely up to you because every situation is different and everyone is different. However, there's a really big um, double standard when it comes to gay PDAs and the reaction that they can get. Because if you put two guys on a street corner and tell them to start making out, I doubt you'll have anyone be like, oh my god, that's so hot. But if you put two girls on a street corner and, that, and have them start making out, chances are, like with girls it's like 50-50. That's kind of like the advantage of being a lesbian. Um, it's kind of a 50-50 shot when you show aff affection in public. You could either get the, oh my god, you fucking dyke reaction, or, or, or you can get the <laughs> reaction. Uh, and I've gotten both by when I've shown affection to my dates and girlfriends and people, my friends even, in public. Um, I've gotten the, oh my god, well, they'll, they'll go to whoever I'm holding hands with and they'll be like, oh my god, what are you doing with that dyke? You're too pretty. Uh, or they'll be like, oh my god, that's so hot. You guys are so hot because you guys are girls. I don't believe that one is hotter than the other. I don't believe that lesbians holding hands walking down the street is more acceptable than gay guys holding hands walking down the street. Actually, when I see gay guys walking down the street holding hands and and, show, and, and showing affection, I'm like, you guys have balls. Like, fuck, like, good for you. Like, that you feel comfortable enough to just do that and take whatever comes to you, whatever people think about you. So, um... Yeah, to all you gay guys that hold hands in public and kiss in public, keep doing it, because society needs to see it. Um, yeah. Anyway, to recap this um, video in bullet points, 
Um, PDAs, all for it, especially gay PDAs. Just don't be obnoxious and uh, it's 100% your call whether or not you want to uh, show affection in public because depending on your age, your, who you are, where you are, all that stuff factors in. So I can't really tell you yes or no. I can't be like, yeah, sure, or no, no. Like that's entirely up to you because I don't know where you are. You could be in Florida or Iowa or in Canada or anywhere. <laughs> it's different everywhere you are and it depends on the person. So that's what I have to say about public displays of affection. Uh, I'm gonna go get something to eat because I'm really hungry and enjoy my Wednesday and I hope you all too. Um, it's wonton Wednesday, go get some wontons. And if you have any questions, comments, um, I'll totally watch video responses and like try to reply back to everything you guys say. And um, if you guys wanna ask me a personal question, um, you can go into my ask box on my tumblr my tumblr is the height of summer .tumblr.com in the ask box you just type in my url and it's slash ask um, and i reply to 99.9% .9 of everyone it's probably that one douchebag that's like i don't reply to cuz he's a douchebag uh, so yeah that's all i have to say enjoy your wednesday i'm going to go and do fun shit and um, you should too okay